Food fraud is a, a growing risk to uh, food companies. It's the deliberate uh, modification of food for economic gain. There's been several recent high profile issues um, in the food supply chain and the food industry. Recently, the horse meat scandal in UK and Europe, and several years ago, the melamine issue in China, which unfortunately led to deaths in babies and children. It's a big concern for food processors because if you're receiving an ingredient and you're not in charge of the beginning of the food chain, then you don't know what could be in that. Now, once you produce that into a product, you're accountable for the people that receive it, whether it be the retailers or whether it be directly to the consumer. I think food processors do a pretty good job of making sure they can limit the instances. Um, but we've seen from the USP recent data that there's a 60% increase the last couple of years in food fraud, and particularly in certain areas such as spices, olive oil and dairy. The food industry has presented on several occasions that in order to combat food fraud, you need a unique mix of ingredients expertise and detection expertise. And that's where Perkin Elmer can really help the industry. Perkin Elmer is using uh, two major techniques to really help food producers today. The first is around looking for known threats, things like melamine. So with that, using direct sampling, time of flight, mass spectrometry, DSA TOF MS. With real-time detection, you're able to get an answer in under a minute, and you're able to use a less skilled operator in order to get a very, very high quality analytical result. Then in the other area, we're trying to find unknown unknowns. What is the next melamine? It could be anything. And for that, we're using near-infrared and mid-infrared spectroscopy to use non-targeted screening to not necessarily address there is this threat in your food type, but say there's something wrong with it to so send it for more testing. Lab information and lab results are very, very valuable. These two instruments are going to be gener generating a huge amount of data. Informatics for a food producer can give uh, more meaning to the data, and which you wouldn't get from maybe one technique. So if it's a very subtle type of adulteration, uh, such as geographical origin, informatics can provide more data than a single instrument could on its own. It's going to provide you with intelligence on your supply chain, enable you to identify where you may have risks, and then enable you to act on that intelligence. Perkin Elmer's experience with the food industry for a number of years, and also taking our expertise in testing from other areas as well, can benefit food companies in combating uh, adulteration. Using technologies that we've developed, such as real-time detection, but also non-targeted screening, will ultimately help protect brands and therefore save money in the long term.